What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things box. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you get notified of all the latest content on the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. So there's a bit of news now going around with regarding um, Jake Paul, who is the um, very, very famous YouTuber, the YouTuber who's him him and his brother Logan, they have, they're like professional trolls and they've recently taken a big interest into boxing and um, it's brought a lot of eyes on their fights, you know, how many followers, he's got 20 odd million followers I think um, has Jake Paul and um, yeah, so recently he's been fighting the UFC fighters, Ben Askren, Tyron Woodley and um, now he said right, he wants to um, take on Tommy Fury and obviously Tommy Fury was on the Woodley undercard so you know that was that wasn't by accident that was for a reason to sort of set them up for a fight Fury's definitely expressed over the past um yeah the, the, this throughout this year Fury's Tommy Fury's expressed that yeah he, he won't see it and he's been you know they've been making back and forth Instagram videos and, and stuff like that Twitter wars and but um yeah so um, Jake Paul's been been recently saying, yeah, he'd like to um, fight Tommy Fury. Um, I'm not sure if he, I don't think he said actually next, but he'd like to fight him sort of soon. You know, he's more or less alluded to wanting to fight him soon in the near future. Maybe maybe next, maybe not. But he's he he was sort of complimenting Tommy Fury, saying, yeah, he comes from a boxing bloodline, a boxing family. Um, I think he was mentioning, you know, Tyson Fury obviously is is his brother, and he said, well, you know, he's he said, well, Tommy Fury, Tommy Fury, he's my size, he's my sort of height, um, I think he said my sort of weight, and um, he's he's my age, you know, so he was sort of saying, well, we can we can line this up, you know, because Jake Jake Paul seems uh, quite eager, quite keen to line it up. He said, now. Uh, this guy's going to be different from other opponents. Obviously, he's an actual boxer. He's an undefeated boxer. He's a young guy, fresh guy, and he's my sort of size, my sort of weight. So, um, seems like quite good signs coming from Jake Paul there because, um, you know, obviously he's 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 quite careful with um, who he's been fighting. Um, you know, the Askern fight specifically was a crafty one because although yes Askren was in the UFC his his thing was was wrestling <coughs> his thing his main skill set was about wrestling was about um takedowns and stuff like that and wrestling is a very different discipline to boxing to the striking game you know so it's one of them where you take on a guy that specialty was wrestling never boxed before and you've got a bit of boxing skill, you know, of course you, you can have an advantage over him. Um, yeah, even with Tyron Woodley, you know, he's a good striker uh, and stuff, but he was also good with the takedowns, the wrestling sort of side of things, but he's also a good striker. But it's one of them where with boxing, if he, a guy like Jake Paul, he's got that, he's not great technically, but he's he's good enough for a novice that he'll... He, he'll beat certain people he, he's got enough in his arsenal that okay you're not going to be an elite level guy you're not going to be a top boxer but you you'll you could be some novices and you could be guys who don't really have the experience or the sort of no ring ring um iq and sort of know-how so he's got those skills there where you know he, he might beat your average joe sort of thing so yeah it's, it's good news anyway because as fans, people want to see entertainment and stuff, and you know you want to see these. Um, it's funny because with these celebrity boxing stuff, I mean, it's not my particular cup of tea, but it's something that yeah, you because um, I know of Tommy Fury as a boxer. Um, this is one of those things that I I probably would watch myself. I'd probably you know look it up, probably watch it just out of curiosity, and it, it, with these guys like Jake Paul and that, they're all about entertainment, they're all about um, selling themselves, being braggadocious and stuff, so yeah, this is one that um, it's a bit unconventional, but 
in some sense, these guys have got kind of um, somewhat similar level of experience because you've got Jake Paul who's had no amateur fights and he's just had the one, I suppose, semi-pro slash amateur fight versus um, KSI's brother, I think, against his brother Deji. And um, then he's just gone into these another fight against the YouTuber, the Anderson Gibb, and then he's had these two fights against UFC fighters. But uh, he's got a little bit of experience in the sense that he's 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 done a few more rounds than Huey. I don't think Huey's doing anything more than sort of six rounders in the um, in since since his career begun. He's only had a handful of fights and. You know, Huey Fury, oh, what am I saying, Huey? I mean, Tommy Fury, there's so many Furies. But yeah, so Tommy Fury's only had a few amateur bouts. He's only had, um, yeah, I think he only had about 12 bouts, similar amount to a guy like an Anthony Yard. But as a pro, he hasn't really fought anybody of note yet. So he's, he's still very much a novice. He's still learning the game. He's still developing. He's at a very, very beginning the early stages of his career and Jake Paul you know he's a guy that you never know how serious he's going to be about boxing but he, he seems to be getting himself in good shape and um, he seems to be taking it quite seriously um, as you know in terms of what, what we've seen from him he's learning the techniques and stuff but again very much a novice hasn't had any you know real fights against actual boxers so they're both they're both um i'd say obviously tommy's more experienced in in the boxing side of things he's had he's he's, he's more conventional brought along the, the normal way but still not many fights but obviously his fights have been against actual boxers actual guys who are you know not the ufc guys so i think both of them are inexperienced and it's kind of you I would say you have to lean slightly towards Tommy Fury because <clears throat> he's been brought away brought up the conventional way and you know he can fight a little bit and you know he's had the more bouts and that a bit more experience but he's still relatively inexperienced compared to let's say an amateur who's um you know let's compare it to even a guy like a like an Anthony Joshua or some of these other guys who, who come out of the the you know amateur system even even a guy like let's say um uh a Ryan Garcia who you know he had around 100 bouts I think as an amateur so he he's coming with more experience but these guys are much much less experienced so it's one of them that it, it's a fight that might be quite even and um, it's a fight that I think would be quite entertaining between them. You know, just the press conferences would be um, entertaining. And, and I think it's one of them where the fight will be entertaining because both of them, uh, they, they, they want to prove themselves. Um, you know, Tommy Fury definitely doesn't think much of uh, Jake Paul as a boxer. And, um, you know, I think it's the same with Jake Paul. Jake, Jake Paul, you know, he thinks he's the be all and end all and stuff like that so it'll be good to see them clash and to to see them fight let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below or perhaps you know are you one of the people who say well get rid of it we don't want any youtubers boxing or whatever or are you one of the people who say well it's entertainment don't like it don't watch it let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and until next time it's mko pugilism over and out